How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the In Therapy Podcast with Mr. Reyes and, and Resilient. So, these new episodes are definitely interesting for me. <laughs> uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of good response, a, a good reaction to the videos that we've make that we have been making, and it's really exciting to see how many people are connecting to these stories and sharing their stories on why they got these specific tattoos. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, and if you guys don't know, <laughs> we are now on Spotify too. If you guys want to listen to our podcast on Spotify, we you can search us up as Ink Therapy Podcast with Mr. Ace and Resilient. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so I think I think we also we also come up on we are uh, show. Or sh- <laughs> I think <laughs> we are show. We are show. <laughs> I think we also come up on Apple Music. What? I gotta check though. I don't know. Not not for sure yet. <laughs> we already told the story of um Oh my god. <laughs> Cualtlique. We also told told the story of Medusa last week. Yes. And today I'm gonna tell the story of Lilith. Now I have a question for Who's you. Who's Lilith? We are about to find out. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Would you ever get a demon tattooed on you? A demon? A demon. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would terrify myself. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe at the end of this podcast, maybe you might consider it. What? Maybe you might consider it. <laughs> is she a demon? Yes, she's a demon. Lilith is a demon. Okay. From and... like where? From what story? What? what? I'm confused. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're so, going, oh, that's kind of yeah, scary. It's kind of scary, but okay. I I like the story because uh, leading up to that moment, there's a lot of things that happened, right? Okay. And for everybody, would you guys get a demon tattooed? And after hearing this story, would you consider getting this tattooed? Well, this I feel character? like some people tattoo. Oh yeah, pretty scary stuff on their bodies, like I, the, yeah. that one client of yours that I tell that I say that he's absolutely insane. He has like the scariest things on his body the i think it was um um the nun did he have oh the nun yeah on him? oh that's right yeah he that had a whole bunch terrifying. of demons yeah he had a whole bunch of demons yeah for sure um people get uh people get the ouija board tattooed sometimes they get the star tattooed yeah there's people that like those kind of uh concepts so anyways here we go so there is a possibility that Eve, Eve. Adam and Eve, okay. Eve is not Adam's first wife. Lilith. I didn't even know she was his wife. Yeah. Partner. We'll call it a partner. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't married They weren't married. I guess not. But there's a possibility that Lilith was Adam's first wife. First partner. First partner. Get it right. They I'm were call- smart back then. They didn't get married. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call her wife though, because that's how I memorize the story. <laughs> <laughs> Changing this these words will mess me up completely. Okay. So let's call her a wife, soulmate. Okay. So I'm gonna give you first a few chapters of the Bible to establish. It's not. It's not too much. It's two chapters, and it's it's like three sentences. Okay. Just to establish the the timeline of this okay because i think if somebody wants to look it up you guys can look it up and find more about it so don't yawn don't you dare <laughs> yawn <laughs> i said i said bible and chapters and <gasps> <laughs> okay oh, it's like rising of church and you're trying to look <laughs> <laughs> i promise you it gets interesting i promise you so first of all According to the Bible, according to the story of Adam and Eve, right? Mm -hmm. If for both of you who didn't, for all of you that didn't know, or that (laughs) for all two of you that are watching this podcast, (laughs) or you, (laughs) if you didn't know, um, Eve was created out of Adam's rib. Okay, yeah. So God, you know, God was like, "Here you go, I'm gonna make the man." Yeah. And then he pulled the rib out of his body and created Eve. Okay. And we know that because they're in the chapter uh, 221 Genesis. 
in the book of Genesis 2.21, it says that he took the ribs out of Adam and created Eve. And um, they were the man was created first and then the woman. But what does that mean that he took Adam's rib and created Eve? Like, what does that mean? Uh, like a whole other human came out of yeah. like a, a rib? Yes. Out of that, he created another human. Maybe like the DNA, DNA, maybe genes. So were they related? Yeah, <laughs> we all you, you're you everybody's related. <laughs> we're, we're siblings. <laughs> this took a turn. <laughs> this took a turn. Wait a second. <laughs> OK, but this is where it gets a little confusing, okay. right? Because this is the chapter. Look at it as a book. This is chapter two already. And they're already saying that. Eve was created of the rib. Okay. But if we go backwards to chapter one, and it's in Genesis one twenty seven, it says, "Men and women were created out of the same dust at the same time." So they weren't created together. Exactly. So this is where it gets contradicting because chapter one in Genesis says that they were created at the same time. Mm -hmm. Chapter two it says that Eve was created after Adam. Right. Mm. So that's where it gets. That's where Lily starts coming in into the story. Right. Because the name of Lily doesn't appear anywhere in the Christian or Catholic Bible. Right. So no, nobody knows about Lily. OK. But there's only one Bible that mentions Lily. And that's good enough to consider her part of the uh, religion uh, story of Adam and Eve. What Bible does she come out in? She comes in. Uh, she she gets mentioned in the Bible of. Uh, uh, Hebrew, the Hebrew written, Bible. The Hebrew Bible. It's uh, she's mentioning the um, in the Hebrew. My <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Was I not supposed to ask that question <laughs> no, too no, soon? No, 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 no. It's a good question. I just, I just, <laughs> I'm just, I just want to get to it already. <laughs> okay. okay. Simmer down now. Okay, Lily. I'm a, I'm gonna say it one more time. Lily is mentioned in the Bible. Um, in the Hebrew Bible. Or the Old Testament in the book of Isaiah. So since you said Old Testament, so it's not a yes. Christian Bible? It's it's supposed that uh, the book of Genesis is uh -huh. the first ever Bible created. Okay. It's the first ever, right? Within Christians and Hebrews at all? So total? Christian, the Christian and, and the Catholic, they're technically the same thing. Okay. But they translate it differently because of the language barriers. So, but you said Hebrew. Hebrew, exactly. So this is where the Bible is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, written in Hebrew. Okay. Okay. And um, the, the chapter that she gets mentioned on is on Isaiah 34, 14. And it says, quote, And there shall the beast of the desert meet with the jackals, and the wild goat shall cry to his fellow. The lilith also shall settle there and find herself a place of rest. The, that's the only place where she gets mentioned but that's where the the you know kind of it rises the eye rises eyebrows mm -hmm. right kind of like raises the raises eyebrows. the mm -hmm. eyebrows because of that reason because now they're saying that Lilith does exist mm -hmm. but they took that out of the christian and catholic bible oh interesting stuff so now that we know that right now we can continue telling you the story of Lilith. Now that we know that she is mentioned in the Bible, right? Okay. So ready for the story of Lilith? <laughs> yes. Let's do it. So, as we all know, it took seven days to create everything, right? God took seven, uh, it took him six, seven days to create everything. But on the sixth day, he said, I'm going to create humans now, right? And he created humans based on the sixth day. On the sixth day. Okay. Based on how he looked, you know? So he's like, he looked at himself and he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, based on the way he looked. Yeah. So God, the Almighty himself, looks like us? Yes. Or like we look like him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he said, I'm going to grab some dust and poof, Adam, and, Adam and Lilith. Yeah. So he created Adam and Lilith. So they started chilling, you know, they started chilling at the Garden of Eden, relax, you know, mm -hmm. and... They were having fun, doing their thing, um, but they started having a little bit of beef, just a little bit. Started off small, you know, like any other relationship, right? Like everything's nice, 
until he didn't put like the toilet seat down or or i mean he didn't like <laughs> bury his poop <laughs> kind of he was peeing next to the food little things started happening uh-huh. and the number one thing adam wanted was to have control over everything and lilith had to be under the control of adam okay Lilith is like, nah, bro, that's not going to work here. It's not going to work because I want control. I want equality, my guy, you know. Then Adam kept pushing and pushing. And the number one issue was during baby making sessions, who was on top? That was the number one thing. You're lying. It's, it's, that's really the story? Yeah, that's the story. And, it go, and that, that story what? links also to the Greeks, too. Because the Greeks, there was a lot of, uh, like, sexual intercourse with men and men, men and women. Everybody was having sex within each other. But the one that was on top had control. Wow. So that's what it means. When somebody's on top, they have control. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't stop. <laughs> so... Lilith wanted equality. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, are you getting red? I'm not getting red. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you can't get red. You get maroon. Like okay, your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that was the issue there. Okay. And Lilith was getting upset. It was like, yo, like we're equal. We mm-hmm. were made out of the same dust at the same time by God. And we look like him. There's there's nothing that makes you better than me. Okay. And they keep having issues and issues about it and until adam was like god like lily is not doing what i'm telling her to do yeah and god was on adam's side and he's like hey lily like you we you gotta do it like you you gotta follow the script i made i made this he had a whole script made for them right Mm -hmm. and lily's like i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that so they started like fighting having arguments and stuff like that okay and she got fed up she was like, you know what? I'm done with this. And she yelled God's real name. You're never supposed to do that. It's so sacred. Secretive and sacred. God's and real name? God's real name. God has a real name? And God has a real name. But nobody knows. Only Lilith and Adam. So Lilith just yelled it out there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, God was like, you did not just call me by my real name, bro. Like <laughs> the audacity. How the audacity? Why would you call me by my real name? You call me God. So he got pissed and made her into a demon. What? Lilith, Lilith left and she was like, "Oh man, like I'm out. Like I don't have, I don't have control. I don't have my own identity here. I'm nothing here. Uh, the only way for her to be at this place is to be under Adam's." Uh, control Mm -hmm. she had to be submissive right to stay in paradise to stay in paradise Mm. but she ended up leaving and um but man when she got to the red sea when she got to the her destination yeah with all the demons oh man (laughs) she went wild wild Girls gone crazy. Got hot girl summer. Hot girl summer. <laughs> <laughs> so she started having sex with all the demons. Every demon out there. She went crazy. Hey. And she was in control of everybody in there. Jeez. She was in control. And she started popping out babies. Left and right. Baby demons. Baby demons. And get, and because Lilith was supposed to be a very attractive woman, she was passing down the genes to all these demons. And they were very attractive. So demons are, you know, demons are beautiful. <laughs> so, so if you're attractive, you're a demon. You're a demon. You're a descendant from Lilith. Wow. So all these babies, right? All uh-huh. these babies were popping out. And uh, God was like, wait a minute. Like, she's making demons all over the place. <laughs> Backfired. Backfire. So now she's making demons left and right. And he started getting concerned because she was popping out babies like nothing. Mm-hmm. Right? And she became the mother of the demons. 
up here. She's oh, the I'm one. Like... <laughs> She's the <laughs> one. She's the mother, the head, the leader of all the demons. Then right? she created her own little tribe. <laughs> A little demon tribe. Exactly. So, God, I was like, oh, man, like, I got to I gotta put a stop to this. Yeah. So, um, God sent three angels to look for her. And then the three angels went up to her and it's like, hey, Lilith, come through. Got to talk to you real quick. So, <laughs> Lilith, you know, went up to them and she was, she was down to have a nice conversation with the three angels, you know. And the angels were like, look. God sent me here mm -hmm. to tell you that you got to relax. You got to chill. Like, all you got to do is come back with us. Okay. We have to take you back to the Garden of Eden so you can do what God created you to do. You have to follow his rule. Like the plan. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you have to go back. You got to go back. You got to do your thing and not say nothing. And then Lilith is like, if I don't go back, what is he going to do? <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> She's got some cajones yeah, on her. Like, what are you going to do if I don't go back? Dang. And the three angels told her, hey, if you don't go back, God said, if you don't go back, if you don't come back with us, he's going to kill a hundred babies. A hundred of your babies for every day that you don't go back. Damn, how many babies she have? And she was having babies all over the place. Jeez. Right? So, Lily, after she heard that, Lily said, Tell God that I told you that if he kills my babies, I'm going to kill all his babies too. <laughs> And if they're male, if they be if they were born as a male, she was gonna kill the baby either at birth or eight days later. Or if it was a woman at birth or twelve days later. Dead. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the angels went back and told God, so he started killing babies, mm -hmm. her Lily's babies. And Lily started making more babies because God was killing her babies and she was killing his babies too. So she was doing all this disaster, all this craziness all over the place. Bunch of chaos. Bunch of chaos, right? And then God was like, oh man, we got to protect my babies. So he's, so um, the couples that were having babies, they started wearing jewelry with angels' names on them to prevent lilies from killing them that was like their form of protection okay have you ever seen in mexico they wear jewelry yeah like yeah saints or something like that it's protection because she wanted to have a bigger army mm -hmm. she started um basically breaking into single man houses to collect their babies their semen yes <gasps> And have more babies and also get their get the, the men's blood and turn them into demons too. So she was making the men demons and popping out demon babies out of their semen. So she was co collecting all their all their DNA. Exactly. That's why now uh, if a man has a wet dream and sleep paralysis, that means Lilith is on top of you collecting stuff <laughs> oh man bunch of dudes at home right now be like oh my god Lilith came through <laughs> I was touched by a demon <laughs> so because you, when you have wet dreams and then you whoop during your you sleep ejaculate. then Lilith collects that and has demon babies and then Adam was so sad at the Garden of Eden, you know. He's like, oh, my God, you know, like, I'm lonely. I'm surrounded by all these animals. He and ain't got no girl. He ain't got no girl. He's lonely. He's single. So then God was like, yo, go to sleep, my guy. It's, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not tired. Go to sleep, my guy. Basically, that's when God took one of his ribs 
and created Eve to be his new partner, new wife. Okay. Right? And when he woke up, he said, oh, I'm missing a rib. Hey, but hello there. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Adam is no longer lonely. Okay. Now he has someone to follow the script. <laughs> and she was. Okay. She was. She was good. She was doing what she was supposed to do. They started having babies, you know, all these things. And Lilith was like, hold up. You're telling me that these people are having babies and God is killing my babies? And it's like, their happiness is annoying. Like, I don't like this at all. Like, their relationship is whack. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> so then Lilith goes back mm-hmm. to the Garden of Eden. Right? Mm-hmm. But she's not just going back as her. There is, there's a possibility. That, that she's a snake? That she's the snake. <gasps> The temptation. Exactly. And that's when she manipulates Eve to eat out of the forbidden fruit. And she does. And I guess uh, Lily's won. <laughs> and after that, everything else happened. There's like um, a thing that they say that what if um, Adam lied and he's the one that took a bite of the apple oh. first mm. because that's he was... why it's like you guys have the adam's apple yeah. thingy oh <laughs> maybe because at the same time adam was very like controlling about situations you know yeah so like it says that he like took the bite of the apple and just blamed it on eve when and... she didn't bite it oh and adam and god was on adam's side mm-hmm. all the way from the beginning <gasps> That's a crazy conspiracy right there. Yeah. Oh, but that is the story of Lily. <gasps> the snake. The snake. And uh, you can portray her as like a woman with, if you were, if somebody was to get Lily tattooed, uh-huh. you can, you know, customize something along the lines of a beautiful woman with some sort of snake wrapped around. But yeah, what do you think about Lily? Dang. It's like, I don't hate her. <sighs> so would you get a demon tattooed? No, I still <laughs> Would you get a demon tattooed? For a second, I was like, who are you talking to? Would you? <laughs> it's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little oh, freaked man. out. I was like, this demon store got him talking to himself. <sighs> Did you enjoy the story? I actually really liked this yeah. story. This was a good story. Yeah. I yawned once, but it was in the beginning. Because <laughs> I, I mentioned like if it was, I started like the whole story, like if it was a church, uh, what is it? Misa. Mira, dijo Misa y de volada. Takes me back. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, I hope you guys like this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.